This is Jeff from Airstream Nerds. Today I'm going to install this tachometer hour meter on my Honda EU2000 um, inverter generators. As you can see, um, we've attached it to the top. Take the cover off. Oops. Take the cover off. You can see the wire is just in between, I didn't notch anything. There's not a lot of pressure on the wire. The wire for this thing is connected, just basically wrapped around the spark plug wire. Um, that just pulls off, wrap it around, you tie it in place. Um, real simple install. Um, there's not even any connection. It's, uh, it's just loops around in there. Um, so let me go ahead and hook it up on the other one. Okay, start by popping this little panel off. Just push it in, take it out. And if you want, you can also unscrew the access panel. Give you some room. So, it'll make it a little easier if you take this off, so you got this big old long piece of wire and the wire tie, and you're going to essentially Do a nice little coil. So we're going to do a nice tight coil. Slide it all the way down to there. Then take the wire tie. That's probably easier to kind of get everything in place, like I'm doing here before. You cinch the wire tie all the way up. Okay, so as you can see, I've got it wrapped around. Um, I screwed up with the white one. Um, so, you know, like most everybody, we have wire ties laying around. So I put a couple wire ties on. I'm probably going to put a third one up here just, just because I've got a bunch of wire ties and it won't really hurt anything. And I'm going to route this wire back through here to come out to the other side over here. Um, anyway, give me a second, I'll be right back. All right, so I've got the wire fish through here. Put a little light up in here so you guys can see better. Um, Screw that, took that part out. I ain't putting the light in there. Alright, so I got the wire fist through here. Um, this part's pretty simple. You bring the wire up. 
through the sensor and you push it back down through the hole until it's in the bottom. And then you essentially just cinch it up. And that's the connection. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to take this excess wire. Like I said, I could have just cut the excess wire off, but I don't see it a problem to just lay this excess wire right inside of here. And put it right there like the other one. So like I said, it comes with double-sided tape. Seems to work pretty good. I'd rather do that than drill holes somewhere. I'm gonna mount this right in there. Put the cover back on and you're all done. See as you put that in there, there's a lot of play on this door. Um, so it puts a little depression in the wire, but it doesn't actually, doesn't really tighten down on the wire very much. Still, still a lot of play right here. So I feel pretty comfortable with that. Let me put some gas in here and run it and see what it does. I'll be able to keep track of you know oil changes things like that much easier um, I've only run these things before I installed these meters for a couple of hours so I'm okay plus or minus that I think it's an easy install I think it's a worthwhile product for the price and I think we should all has something like this attached to our generators. If for anything else, just to make maintenance that much easier.